What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of Zeba Games. The date is April. I almost said March. <laughs> April 12, 2020. <laughs> um, it's Easter Sunday. We're recording this. Passover for others. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you're not religious, you don't do those things, or you like the Easter Bunny or anything, just remember it's a really good time to just try to be happy during this really yeah, not happy eat time. All your and, <laughs> and chocolate. Let's not forget yeah. chocolate. Eat all your chocolate. And peeps, you wanna, I don't know, peeps, let's I mean, like peeps. I don't, I don't if like you like, peeps. I like to put them in microwaves, because it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, okay, okay, before we get into everything else, I'm going to add this. I'm more of a jelly bean fan. Jelly yeah. beans are good. Jelly beans are good. Uh, like, I haven't had them in forever, though, to be honest with you. I haven't had jelly beans in forever. So when you eat jelly beans, though, are you like a jelly bean person where you like eat one at a time? Or are you a jelly bean person where you like handfuls? Because like, so, I can eat like 10 at a time, and they give me every flavor at the same time. And I'm like, mmm. So I, I don't know. It, it, yeah, that's right. True. It is, it is Easter Monday in Australia because it's the future. <laughs> but... Um, so it depends. Like when you get something like, uh, what's a Jelly Belly? Is that the name of the brand? Which I also yeah. haven't had. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, uh, so, so, hey, what's up, Legend? <laughs> um, I, I eat those one at a time because the flavors are so different, right? You really are like, ooh, what does this taste like? However, like the classic, like Brock's or whatever, like the classic, yeah. like, it's just, yeah, that's a handful, dude. You like grab a bunch of just, you know, just, that's a handful because they all pretty much I even, taste the same. I, in the know? Bean Boozled, so one night we were at uh, Bobo's yeah, house and we were playing Bean Boozled oh, and I took no. a handful, like, <laughs> 25 yeah. jelly beans in no. one hand. Let me tell you, you it, it, I, it's it's like there's so many flavors clashing. It's like it's not even a flavor. It's just like you're just like, uh, just chewing this. It. I don't know how you all do it. <laughs> I can't do it. But jelly bellies, I can do. I'm with Chip. I'm with mainly Chip and Chat. Yeah. Jelly so bellies. happy Easter or everything that it is for you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's we can talk about our show real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Um, once again, we're doing this live on Mixer on yes. each of our channels. Uh, you can find it, whatever. We're doing it here on Sundays at 2 p.m. this week. Um, probably 2 p.m. again next week because we have a guest scheduled for next week. Um, we did have a guest host today, but he had some things come up, so we couldn't come. So it's all good. It's Hammer all good. shots we'll is Starburst beans, which are also good. Okay, Starburst yeah, are good. Yeah, right. they they're are. good. They are. GG. Oh, man. We could have a jelly beans. We could have, you just want to have a jelly bean podcast today instead of a, like an Xbox podcast? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dean Master, I think we do too. So uh, I'm with you on that on the earlier time as well. So people like the earlier yeah. time. That's good. And I feel like we can reach a lot more people this time. Yes. And it's, it's good, it's good, it's yes. good. We'll make it work. Um, so, guys, if you guys want to check out our socials, we have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, The Things. We also have our YouTube channel. You got me puts a ton of work into those. The last one was dope if you didn't check it out. We had gameplay for pretty much everything. Yeah, it was tough to find <laughs> a lot of that stuff, but uh, some of it I saved myself and put it in there. Like the, um, what was the game we covered? The the Power Rangers Battle yes. for Grid? Yeah, yes. I actually put my own uh, game footage in that. So, yeah, it worked Dang. out. Also, guys, we got Zeba, Zeba Games back up, so yes. that is our website that has back up. You can listen to the podcast there or watch. Is it watch or listen? It's both. It's both. Well, it's 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 both. I mean, it's it's the actual YouTube videos all listed out, so you can just yeah. go there if you want to watch them there and not deal with any of the YouTube stuff. But you could also just listen. Well, there you to go. You know. Just listen <laughs> well, there you go. And not watch us. Um, yeah, and if you guys are listening on a podcast or you're watching it on YouTube. Uh, if you guys could do us a straight solid, like it, subscribe, do the the things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, that would be great. Um, yeah, I'm just, to, I just had a brain, a brain stall. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today we're going to be talking about the breakdown of Inside Xbox. We're going to be talking about some of the updates for Warzone. And I know we're an Xbox podcast, but I really want to talk about it. But we're going to talk about the PS5 controller that got revealed yeah. this week. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, but before we go into news, you know, let's talk about what's really important. And that's what we played this week. Yeah. Let's start with Bobo this week. Uh, Bobo, what did you play this week? I play Todd Gilling okay. and I play Olaf. And Overwatch. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You did a little. You did a little bit of near. 
We'll oh, talk yeah, about we'll talk about your yeah. experience there because uh, you did not have a good experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. That's yeah. it. We played Rocket League, of course. But oh, yeah, name a, name a time we don't play Rocket League. Yeah, it's just like. Yeah, yeah. It's like name a time yeah. I'm not playing Destiny for me. So right, yeah. right. I mean, right. Yeah. Every time I get on Rose Moon, hello, welcome like, to look, the chat. I played like, Destiny this week. I did. Um, I did a bunch of bounties. I uh, cleared out the bunkers and got my triumph for that. Um, working on some other triumphs. I, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't done in that game. And as much as I play it, you'd think I would have had it done. But I'm finding all these triumphs and stuff. Just other like smaller these other triumphs like uh, grenade triumphs, different things that actually like oh there's actually something else to do. So yeah. I've been doing that. I've been uh, kind of grinding out triumphs and uh, building up my uh, other two characters because I can't seem to get off my Titan, which is my main. Sorry everybody, it happens. Uh, it happens. I think we are called what are they? Uh, yeah, crayon but... eaters. So Ooh. <laughs> I'm a uh, 128 box Crayola guy. By the way, just putting that out there. Oh. However. <laughs> yeah, I'm fancy. Uh, but I also did with, play... Wait, with the sharpener on the back? Yes. You know okay. how it is. You know, All right. you I know the vibes. Only uh, the rich kids in school had those. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I also played uh, the game that we talked about today. And I also jumped in on a little bit of... Uh, I, got, I got a wild hair and decided to jump in on um, uh, some Forza. I, uh, Forza Ooh. Horizon. I love that game and I hadn't played it in a while. I felt like driving fast, so I jumped in on that. Also, I downloaded uh, some games from uh, Gold, Games with Gold. So, yeah. Uh, yeah so that's what I did this week. I played our uh, our week our weekly game, which was uh, well. We'll talk about it. We will talk about it. Yes, we will talk about that. Um, yeah. This week, I really don't feel like I played a lot. I'm, it's a really sad week for me because normally I'm like a little bit all over the place. Yeah. Like, um, I did the. Oh, we could have talked about this story. I don't know why I didn't talk about this story. So I played Borderlands. Some people watched yeah. me play it. I watched but you the, play that. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I did on Borderlands this week was kind of weird. And it was not Borderlands at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was watching you do that. So explain that. It's, explain that again. So uh, we a lot of people talk about it. Like I think uh, Nvidia is doing it. A different like uh, a couple of different people are doing it. But mm-hmm. uh, you can break down proteins, right? Or is it called folding proteins? Uh, right, 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 right. Um, and, and what is the purpose? Of, like uh, I I didn't understand. I was watching you do it, but I didn't understand what the purpose of it. So yeah, so folding at home is the program that everyone's using. Um, I've heard about it a lot. Um, I should have looked up all the news story for this. So Borderlands did something similar to it. So folding at home. So when your computer folds, it can't do it perfect. It, it has like little errors that happen all over, like not all over the place, but right. you know, I mean, it's, yeah, you're it's, right. it like 99s it, whatever, 99 percent it, like gets it pretty close. Sure. Um, on Borderlands, if you go over to oh my gosh, what's her name, Boba, the doctor lady. Oh, uh, Chinese. Candace, Tannis, Tannis, yeah. yeah, yeah. You go over to Tannis's room, uh, and there's a little arcade machine. You go over there, and you're like, "What the heck is this?" And so, and you go in there, and the, oh my gosh, the chick that's uh, off of Big Bang Theory. Uh, what's the main, the main dude? Gosh, uh, dang it, the main little smart skinny dude. Oh, gosh, off of Big Bang you Theory. You guys are uh, the. Yeah. Doesn't he have his own show now as a kid or something like? Yeah. yeah. What is yeah. it, Bubba? I never watched that show. Sheldon. 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 Yeah, Sheldon. So Sheldon's girlfriend. So she's actually a PhD. She's an actor still, obviously. Amy. Yes. So she is in the video game. Oh, really? So she's in that. And like, I remember seeing her tweet. She's like, she's like, I made it, guys. I'm in a video game. And so <laughs> it shows her face, like comes up on there. Boop, and then like you hear her voice and she talks about it. And like they do like a really long... Uh, talk about like what's actually happening and so it's kind of cool so that basically you're, you're i don't want to get all sciencey because i don't know what the heck happened <laughs> i was like listening he was talking about it. i was like this is really cool i was like i don't know what it's talking about but it's cool basically it just turns into like a puzzle game uh-huh. oh okay in borderlands 3 and so like the idea is like you use these little blocks and it pushes up different ones and you got to match them like side to side and it's it gets complicated and it makes you think a lot, but it's super easy to do and you get, and so you're helping. And so it's actually linked, helping finish proteins um, or folding the proteins or whatever. Um, oh, right. Just, okay. 
And okay. so by doing that, you get like this currency, and this currency you can use to buy boosters to oh, help nice. you in Borderlands. And so, nice. yeah, so it's like a, it's like a game inside of a game. Oh, cool. That helps outside of the game. That's that, sounds, was, uh, that was really deep. Yeah, that was really deep. Yeah, that sounds really cool though. <laughs> but you were playing it for a while. Like I was watching you stream it, and it I think I played it for like two hours. It reminded me of another <laughs> game. It's a game that I used to play on my Nintendo DS. I can't remember. The name. Oh, Medio. <laughs> it reminded me of this game Medio that I used to play on a Nintendo DS. Uh -huh. um, it looked a lot like it too, even. So uh, it's cool. I liked it. I'm at the. I haven't. I didn't. It actually intrigued me. I may have to jump in and try it out. Yeah, it was. It's super simple. Uh, at first, it like kind of hurts your head. Like we had people, they're like, "What is even happening?" Like watching me do it, and I was like, "No, nah, I mean, you just, you just like pay attention to the directions, and you'll get it, and it'll start flowing." And it's, I mean, it's not a Rubik's cube, right? But it's, yeah, uh, yeah. So, and then we played Rocket League. I played a lot of Rocket League. Uh, shout out to Jeb. Uh, if you guys don't know who Jeb is, he's a grand champion. He streams on Mixer. He came in with a Smurf account and he was playing with me and it was... <laughs> yes, so Josh said mind blown. He was talking about the other thing, but right now, or right then, I was like, I was watching him do things I didn't know you could do with Rocket League. <laughs> I like was like, what? What do, you, what do you mean by that? Like carrying the ball around, like in the air, like oh, the ways okay. he was doing it. I was like... I, yeah, so I, I think I was in the party with you guys, and I was hearing your exclamations as you were. Yeah, I was like, wow. How? Well, you're like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, I couldn't see it because I think I was uh, running bounties and stuff like that. But yeah. uh, Doof brought up, speaking of, uh, Doof brought up an interesting story that has uh, has come up over the past couple of days, and that is that Glad, uh, G-L-A-D-D, -D, one of the, the, probably the biggest Destiny streamer, um, has decided to step away from the game. Yep, and, I actually saw uh, that. Yeah, he decided to step away from the game. A lot of it has to do with, um, you know, the new season, and there's some new, uh, like, a, what is it, like Master Nightfalls or something like that? Or, I forget what it's called. Um, yeah. And uh, he just, it, and like, apparently the, the reward is just finishing the Nightfall. There's no real reward drops. There's nothing. You're not really getting anything out of it. Uh, yeah. It says that he's going to still jump in on Tuesday on reset to maybe check to see if there's anything new. But for the most part, he's going to be stepping away from the game. And I well, um, thought that was pretty interesting. You know, that is that, that was pretty I've, interesting. I've heard I've heard some different things about Destiny 2 lately. Like, people were really mad about like trials, like trials. The idea it was fun. But yeah, they were saying like the main reward, like you just need to win like three games and then you yeah. can just reset your card and you're going to get the yeah. rewards. So people you're going to get really good rewards. They're just playing for tokens. They're just playing for tokens. Uh, I haven't played since the first day it started. So I played the first day. It came out that weekend. I jumped in. I played. Uh, so technically, I haven't lost a game. So I got that going I for mean, me. I mean, Yogami is flawless. For, <laughs> me yeah. too. Actually, they me and Bobo both are nailers. flawless. We're flawless too. We don't have yeah. any wins, but we don't have any losses. I have three wins. <laughs> I have three wins. And that's where I stopped. I, I got out while the getting was good. Uh, I quit while I was ahead. Um, so... Yeah. Um, but I, as it, as, as the weeks progressed and I would jump in, Hey, what's up toys? Uh, as I would jump in, I would, people would tell me like, dude, be glad that you're not playing this cause it is so super sweaty. And I've mentioned this many times on, on the, uh, uh, there exactly. So that's what I was about to bring. Kimbo slice says auto rifle, idle auto rifle ownage. I've mentioned this multiple times and, and somebody was, uh, it was really sunny. Somebody was kind of taking shots at me and in somebody else's chat for no reason, absolutely no reason. But what I said was, is that it, it, when these things happen with these metas in this game to where you go into, uh, you go into crucible, you go into whatever, uh, any, yeah. any kind of PVP game and it's one or two weapons, right? You know, yeah. it, it's like, uh, 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 hard light all day long, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, what's the uh, hand cannon that everybody uses? Oh, dang it! It's 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 um, it's it's escaping me right now. But uh, there's a hand cannon that like everybody uses, and uh, it's, it's just those totally weapons. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like a, it's it's uh, it's it's escaping me right now, but. It's the one that you get out of the menagerie, uh, Lu not Luna's Howl, because you know I'm actually Hammer. I'm not sh seeing a lot of Luna's Howl. I'm seeing the one out. Of, what's the one out of the menagerie? The uh, spare rations. There we go. Yeah, doof nasty nose. I see a lot of spare rations now. Uh, I use. Um, I I mean I'm like for example, when I first started playing the the first week and I played Trials and I played with uh, Junior and Chuck. Um, I had to. I, I I needed to get auto rifle kills. So I, I was using, um, uh, I forget what it's called, but I ended up having to switch to 
to the hard light because everybody was using it. And it's like, I've yeah. got to fight fire with fire. I don't want to use hard light. I don't even like hard light. I like yeah. certain weapons. And so it would be, I think Destiny has created a monster that they can't control now, right? They put yeah. on these crazy, and it's not just weapons. It's also some supers and there's some exotic armor pieces that, that really give people an edge and an advantage. And so what I really wish is that you could really go into the game, right? And you could say, I really like using trust. I really like using um, this this particular sniper, and I really like using that. I don't I don't like using hard light. I don't like using spare rations. This is yeah. what I want to go. And then you really step up the PvP by by uh, changing what the expectations are, or it's or true. you know people are you come around the corner with something that they're not going to expect you to have, you know and. Um, I wish it was a bit more of an even playing field. Now, granted, there's gonna, there's some weapons that are just like pointless. Like they're just like you, it dr- it falls and you're just like. This <laughs> Why is, did you put this in? Why right, exactly? <laughs> di- you know, dismantle. But at the same time, um, and I get it. Uh, the the ricochet rounds. Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, there, there's great weapons, but here's the thing. I like somebody mentioned Monte Carlo. I don't see a lot of people using the Monte Carlo. I still, I still see people. Everybody's running with hard light because they can get your, can I tell you a destiny and... joke real quick? Sure. <laughs> I think I've told you it before, maybe, but I said, I said, you come into some, you, I came into this guy's house, right? And I was like, yo, why do you always keep your no land beyond above your fireplace? <laughs> and he said, I like to keep it on dismantle. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> but anyway, so I think um, I think also I think I mean I guess dropping blue stuff is cool, you know. When you're good, um, I think that if they could change <laughs> PvP to where you could really bring an uh, element of surprise in the game <clears throat> with your loadout, they were like, "Whoa, I didn't, didn't see that coming." Now I've got to adjust my strategy and how I play because yeah. I don't know what all these people are using. You know what I mean? That would be yeah. I, first of all, I think it would be awesome. I think it'd be a lot more fun, and it, I think it it, it kind of pushes people to be more creative with their loadouts. Um, because I know that when I play PVE, Sorry, I try all kinds loud. of crazy stuff. <laughs> I try all kinds of crazy weapons in PVE and like just to change it up just to see what's out there, you know, but PVP yeah. can't really do it. You can't really do it. So anyway, that's it's my, sh- that's my spiel about Your destiny. Spiel. <laughs> that whistle sounded cool as shit. So I don't know why, dude, dude. Like, I don't know why, but like it went through my headphones like <laughs> weird, dude. I was like, yeah, that's my thing. Destiny spiel. I love that game. You guys Destiny. know how much I love Destiny 2. I love that game. I wish I was a big Destiny 2 streamer myself, but... Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I always go for, diff- for the different classes. See, Doof is see Doof is on another level, though. Doof is Mr. Like, you know what? I'm going to go inside no, today. You don't know how level. And Rick. No. Yeah. He doesn't have a level. <laughs> yeah. I know. You know what? I'm going to go in as a warlock today. And wreck. Yeah. Sweet business of bottom tree signals. Every, there you go. Every game. Yeah. Like, every game. <laughs> yeah. We know well what him. Yeah. I just, I just love the game, you know. But uh, I do like PvP. And, and, and I've had some pretty good plays. I posted a, a, small, a small montage last week. You did? Uh, I watched it. Well, you have more time but, for extra streaming. Yeah. True. True hammer shot. But, um, but yeah, anyway, that's my, that's my destiny spiel. I love the game. I can't say. I, I, what can I say? I it's love true. that game. Well, Destiny is a. Uh, you got a new. Bu- you guys got a new bunker this week, correct? Yeah, IO. The or third it bunker. Is it IO? Is yeah, it the last IO. bunker? That's or the are they last doing one. another one later. That's the last one because last I got my bunker. triumph for uh, for uh, clearing all three out in one day. So yeah. Nice. Um, I'm not gonna jump back to something I was gonna change, but if, is there anything else you want to add to? No, 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 I'm good. <laughs> I was like, It'll I was like, like <laughs> later because you know how I had crazy something I on my head, it, but no. And I was like, man. So we were talking about Rocket League too. So Rocket League just put out a new event that I believe they just made it go live today. Um, All right. And I can't remember what the freak mode was called. Oh man. So basically, in this mode, um, what's happening is you the ball is always going towards a goal. Oh, really? So, so you, you hit the it? ball, and it starts shooting to the other side. Whatever team hits the ball, it's going towards the other goal every single time. Oh. <laughs> like, it'll curl. Like, it curves, dude. I'm I'm stoked to play this. I'm like, So it's been out before. Dude, I'm, like, watching videos of people, like, clips, and I'm like, I want to play this. Like, really bad. I'm like, yeah, this sounds I so crazy. Heat Seeker, yeah, yes. Yeah. That sounds dude, super get, crazy. About to get in that 3v3s, bro. And, like, they said every time you hit the ball. So it's like... 
Rocket League Pong is a good way to put it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Interesting. And so, so every time you have somebody hits it, yeah, it goes think faster. Opposite. You have to play backwards, it sounds like. It's like, yeah, you have, it's like playing a, you're saying well, it's on the 16th? 16th. I swear, okay. I, oh. I thought I just saw something that said it posted today. I don't know why I saw that. So goaltenders for day, yeah. No kidding, Josh. Wow, that sounds crazy. I, I'm sure I'll watch you play it, so. Because I'm terrible. Sorry, I was trying to figure out what just happened. My, uh, yo, what's yo, up? Yo, yo, Scoop of Steve. Sorry, I don't want to call those out while we're streaming, but. <laughs> uh, right. And hosting. Wait, who did he sub to? Me. Uh, I saw nice. the little flowers. Oh, window. okay. What's up? Uh, what is that? Uh, not, don't uh, click that. Uh, well. Don't, yeah, get rid of him. Why yeah. would you do that? Don't click that, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. Gosh. <laughs> uh, why would, I don't, whatever. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that looks really fun. I'm really excited for that mode. Um, it should be good. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. Rock League's got a lot of stuff. It sounds like um, a lot of fun. I played Nier. The first time I played it, I was, uh, kind of got bored. Not bored. I got mad because it kept having like bugs, but then I came back later and I really enjoyed so it. So what we'll talk bugs about that did more you later. have? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about yeah, it later. Yeah. We can talk yeah, about yeah, it later. Yeah, yeah. Just, Cause I, I'm well. interested to know what that, cause I heard you say that the other day and I was like, what? So yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna, it pissed we'll, me we'll off. Talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you guys, did anybody check out uh, Inside Xbox? Did you guys watch it this week? Yes, I did. Did you watch it live or did you watch it later? I watched it later. I didn't watch it live. Yeah, so I, I actually listened to it live. So Are I had it work? in my pocket, on the screen on, sitting in my pocket <laughs> while I had my AirPods in. And I was just uh-huh. listening. Okay. So I didn't even get to see it until later. I went back and watched like the ones I wanted to watch, right? Because mm-hmm. they talked about they talked about a lot of things. And I'll go more into depth in it, but they talked about like grounded. And they talked about Gears Tactics, two oh, games. Yeah. I'm actually like, I'm actually pretty excited for these two games. They seem pretty dope. Nice. Um, so first, let's talk about Grounded. Um, I'll just we're reading directly from Xbox's uh, yeah, breakdown. I have grounded. Yeah. Dude, it looks dope. So Grounded's coming out from. I'll read this first, and then I'll break it down a little more. So it says Obsidian Entertainment announced upcoming survival adventure game Grounded. So, if you guys don't remember, we had this revealed at E3, the last E3. Uh, it says, we'll enter Xbox Game Preview with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and Steam Early Access on July 28th, 2020. That sucks, because that's far away. Yeah. Um, as part of today's announcement, the team also revealed a brand new trailer focusing on single-player experience for Grounded and a first-ever live stream with Obsidian Entertainment Game Director Adam Brennicke. I want him on our show, by yeah, the way. So if anybody nice. wants to tag him and tell him you should be on Ziba Games. <laughs> okay. <laughs> out. Said, and he's a social media manager. Um, oh, no, 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 no. He's not the social media manager. Sorry. Social yeah, media so, manager, Shyla Schofield. Schofield? Yeah, Schofield. Okay. He gave a closer look at the game. Um, so the part that they did in the show was pretty short. Yeah. Um, but then they did after the inside Xbox, they did a huge thing, like an hour long, like just grounded. Yeah. So first things first, every single post I saw from a Sony hater goes, <laughs> Xbox, just bringing out cartoon games. <laughs> and I get it. Like, hey, let's, let's look at, let's look at what's come out recently. Right? right. So we got Ori, right? We got, Bleeding Edge. Bleeding Edge, mm-hmm. yeah. And then this one. Yeah. Bleeding They're Edge. They're all very uh, cartoony. It's very cartoony, yeah. I mean, I, when I see Bleeding Edge, it, it the style looks identical to Borderlands. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's true. They probably just took a lot of uh, vibe I off mean, that. Yeah. That's from Ninja Theory, Ninja correct? Theory, yeah. Who did, okay. uh, they also did... Um, wait, no. Ble- Bleeding Edge is from Ninja Theory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah oh, Obsidian, that's right. That's right. Obsidian that's right. did ground it. Obsidian's that's right. like... Uh, and, uh, Outer Worlds, Outer Wilds, right. Pillars of Eternity. And Ninja Theory also did the... Uh, and they're working on something else. I don't remember what it is. The other game we played. Um, Hellblade. Hellblade, yeah. Yo, but did you guys did you Same guys get hero. to see uh, at the beginning, so they he kind of like, they get up on the roof of their little fort, mm-hmm. and they like look at the ray tracing. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Dude? yeah. I was like, oh my yeah. gosh. I'm like, dude, it doesn't matter. Like the characters, yes, it looks like Bugs Life. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> but like the they way it's Cooper. the sun's hitting through the grass blades and the grass blades, I mean, for granted, they're the size of trees, right? Like yeah. rainforest trees, but, yeah. <laughs> but True. dude, so it, that game looks so sick. Dude. I didn't go, you know, yeah, right. And so, so Cooper made a good point. He says Ninja Theory, we're working on booting edge prior to Xbox purchasing them. So yeah. yes, and grounded as well. These mm-hmm. are both pre what's produced products right yeah. that are just they're just in the end stages now 
Um, what's up, Shaw? Hey, we'll have him. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna read his review. He wrote nice. me a review for a uh, near autumn. Awesome. Hey. Nice. Uh, and he's uh, I watched him beat the game. It was freaking dope. <laughs> I was hey. like, I saw the end. I was like, well, I did not see that coming. But cool. <laughs> I still haven't seen it, so. But yeah, so I won't. I'm not gonna spoil it. But okay. you know what I mean. But yeah, but so grounded. I mean, it's it looks cool. I don't. I don't like that they're hating it though. Like, why do we have to hate coming from first part from first party studios? Uh -huh. like, you know, it's uh, I don't know. I think that's something. Even just, if it was third party, it's just like yeah, it's just it's a freaking game, bro. It's You're a like, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then again, these are probably mostly people who will never play the game, so they don't know. They don't actually know true. if it's good or not. They're just like, I'm hating on it because it comes from a different console that I don't own. So, yeah, no. <laughs> Doof. <laughs> just <laughs> random throwing in more Destiny things. He's like, just in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> uh, ground uh, ground looks like. It's got. It's. But it's way better graphics than Fortnite. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's and a lot. I don't want to say darker, but it's not as bright. <laughs> I also mentioned, <laughs> and I told you guys this week, that when the Xbox Series comes out, when all these games and all this stuff that they're talking about comes out, I am finally going to 4K. <laughs> then I'll have a reason to now. <laughs> no, and I have so, a reason to now. It's so dumb. <laughs> oh, people are whispering you about <laughs> Destiny 2? Dang, nice. dude. Starting fights in the chat, bro. <laughs> just kidding. No, dude, I'm really excited for this game. Um, it's a lot of these feel like you just gotta let like devs be devs, bro. Like yeah. you yeah. have these ideas for games, like let it go, man. You know what I mean? Like you have like like bleeding edge. Like, how do you even like the people I see hating that? I don't know if you guys watched me on Twitter. I was like defending that game like it was the hill that I was gonna die on bro like everybody's hating on it. I'm like no nah, dude I'm like you guys need to chill freak out dude yeah I was like if you, you I guarantee everybody that reviewed that game went and played by themselves <laughs> I and mean like, yeah. yeah I mean and not fun by your hill yeah me oh. and Bobo would go in just me and him and like it'd be me and him just destroying dude and our teammates are just doing their own thing yeah, yeah. dying all over the place yeah like, are you kidding me yeah. But <laughs> you're whispering. Ah, ah, that makes sense now. Now we know. Just kidding. So, Grounded. Are you guys going to play Grounded? I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Hell yeah, I am. See, that's, yeah. that's Bobo's kind of game. The Bobo yeah. loves it like seven days to die, man. Like, uh -huh. I, I'm going to try it. A little DayZ flavor in there. Mm. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna get a squad, dude. It's four player co op as well. Just so you know. Uh, yeah, we, we, dude, get us in there, dude. We go fight some. We go fight like an ant colony, bro. Yeah, fire. Oh, cool. fire ants, bro. No. It looks like it's going to be fun, though. You know, it looks like it's... I mean, and then... I don't know. It just looks fun. I'm going to give it a try. Bro, see, that's what... I like what Five just said. He said... He said, just get both consoles. It's cheaper than That's what a massive I do. PC. That's what I do. <laughs> I buy all the consoles. I have. What if I just Switch, do all I three? Have PlayStation. I have Xbox. Just get them all and then enjoy what <laughs> the gaming oh, industry four. has to I have offer. all four. Never mind. <laughs> I've got. I'm going to. Well, I don't have PlayStation yet. I'm going to have a. I'm going to buy a PS5 at launch. Yeah. Out the door. Yeah. I but, probably will too. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get it on launch. So. Yeah, I'm gonna play it. I want to try. I'm gonna reaching out. I'm gonna be, keep reaching out to Adam Bernicke. I want to get him on our show. Yeah, and I want him to talk about grounding because I feel like that'd be super cool. And he's actually got like some crazy stories. Like if you guys ever hear the story about Pillars of Eternity, whew, I've talked about it too before. But uh, like the um, when Obsidian came to be, or not came to be, but they when they went to make uh, Pillars of Eternity, they went on Kickstarter, dude. Adam Bernicke, dude. Okay, I gotta give a quick Let's shout go. out real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so KillerP81 just came into the chat. He says, uh, what up from New Jersey, DJ Laptop, which is a joke. Not my scene, just showing love. That's a joke. So that, uh, I just want to give a shout out. He just joined Mixer. He's an old, actually, IRL friend of mine from New Jersey. He Dang. used to come and hear me DJ do on my, on my hip hop nights when he was uh, living here in Dallas. And so he, I got him to join Mixer and he's going to be showing his, uh, he's going to be showing up a lot often. So shout out to Killer P. He called me DJ Laptop because I don't actually use a laptop. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> I, was like, yeah, I was like, I no. kept reading it. I was like, I don't get it. 
get it. No, it's my dude. He's just, he's just, uh, yeah, he's, he's joking with me. So I just want to give a shout out to him. He's a good, he's an old friend of mine. And uh, I definitely yeah. need to fix that shout out. Come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's hey. up, P? Good to see you, man. Glad you made it on here. All right. He's, so, he's going to stream. I'm going to follow him actually real quick. Sorry. I did. Yeah. He's, uh, he doesn't stream know. though. He's just, uh, Oh, I thought yeah. he was going to stream. You made me look excited. No, he's just, uh, he's here. He's, he, he's mainly here for the DJ sets, the hip hop sets. Well, I, I know that's why he's here. Personally. Sweet. Well, let's talk about the next thing that happened in Inside Xbox. Um, they talked about some more Xbox Series X stuff. I don't know if you guys yeah. saw this stuff. Oh, mm-hmm. hey. Yeah. So it says a few weeks ago we took an in-depth look at some tech powering the Xbox Series X and got our first look at the new Xbox wireless controller. On today's show, our own Major Nelson had a chance to sit down with Jason Ronald, who has a killer beard. I don't know if you guys have ever seen his, dude. It is like Gandalf. <laughs> Like, <laughs> it looks wild. But anyway, so he's the product manager on the Xbox Series X. Uh, it broke down some of what was shared about our most powerful console ever. They discussed everything from graphics technology like direct X ray tracing and variable rate shading to audio processing, quick resume, and storage option. I watched Ronald, that, by the way. It was dope. It was actually yeah. really good. And like, they, he was at his, they were, they were doing it from their homes, right? Yeah. That one, so, that yeah, video? I guess we need yeah. to mention that too. Like, this whole thing was from people's houses. Yeah. Yeah. Like Adam Brennicky was at his house streaming yeah. grounded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And then I think actually like right after this, just a little bit later, I watched uh Major Nelson does a podcast. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Did oh, you yeah. guys know that he does a podcast? No, so they do like they do their Xbox, like daily Xbox thing. Yeah. But he actually does another podcast that they like just talk about stuff. And he was just in his house talking with another dude. I was like, well, uh, weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. But so they also talked about Xbox velocity architecture and what it basically what game, what it's going to do to your games. Mm-hmm. Um, so there was a couple things where they just kind of shut down the haters. <laughs> so I talked to you guys about, I think we, we brought it up in the podcast two weeks ago. I want to say about two weeks ago where a lot of the Sony people were like, Oh, Xbox series X uh, doesn't have a, have its own uh, audio encoder, and so right. it's gonna have to offload off the CPU, and it's gonna take three, it's gonna take three teraflops away from the actual 12, to making it less powerful than the PlayStation 5. <laughs> They're just looking for stuff. Three, three teraflops, bro, to run audio. <laughs> Bro, that better be the best right. audio. Oh, yeah, like, right. like, it should transcend you into another dimension for, for that. <laughs> Seriously, right? Play every game like with your eyes closed because you can hear everything so well. Yeah. But so he takes that. They, they just shut it down. They're like, we have our own thing. It's on there. Like you can see it. Like it's mm-hmm. offloaded on its own chip. Like it's, it's right there. Dude. Right there. <laughs> I don't know. They talk about a lot of cool things, but for the most part, it was just it's just good for them to like reassuring like it's here man like, right it's coming like we have it ready <laughs> you're going on sounds like you're going on audio whatever i wish yeah yeah go <laughs> i'm working on it though one of these days i'll work on my audio on my stream that sends you all into another dimension but i'll, I'll yeah. promise to bring you back i, I like what chip says he's like if it's something that you think we needed on it we thought of it. we've thought of it exactly <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> What's up, like, They Chris also kind of talked a little bit too. If you guys saw, like, they talked about like the new, the expandable uh, storage. They kind of soft talked about it again, and they're just like, I don't know. There's a lot of things with that that I just, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm worried about it costing a lot of money. But at the same time, I'm also thinking that it might not cost that much money. Yeah. Because they have like you know the exclusivity with uh, Seagate. Yeah. So my guess is with that exclusivity from Seagate that they threw him a bunch of money and they said, if you can get him to this price, you have exclusivity. And they're like, well, deal. True. I mean, that's, that's a lot of money, bro. Yeah, it is. Like, imagine if you could get a one, like for one ninety nine for one terabyte for an exclusive Seagate hard drive. That's my guess. That's what I'm thinking is going to cost. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of money, but you can also use other hard drives too. You just can't play. You just can't. Velocity architecture is not going to work unless you have it. Right, right. And yeah, so I th- I also still think that the Xbox is going to be five hundred dollars out the door. I, I mean, I, I mean, I can see that. It seems. They say, yeah, I mean, yeah. I yeah. Yeah. So high, high yeah, yeah, I see that. And then when we talked about it, I think you know we were hoping for a lower price, but we were also saying, hey, at least throw in 
what is it uh game pass or something for three months of game yeah. pass or something in there you know which i i i just hope that they do that but well let's just let's just see if it, uh, e3 if they just get rid of gold and they make game pass even better and then it's yeah. just gonna, oh man I'm, just, yeah. I'm stoked for e3 i know it's not really getting e3 right but we're still gonna like just the next few months are gonna be freaking off the walls bro. yeah Supposedly, yeah. this is just rumor, but supposedly tomorrow we're supposed to get another game reveal for Xbox Series X. Really? Oh. Yeah, or at least a deep dive into something we already know about, but we'll see. Huh. Don't don't put money on that. Okay. I was going Spend to. money to make money. <laughs> I'm talking about Finn. That's what it's about. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, so another thing it says is we're, tr- we're continuing the evolution. Evolution. Evolution? What the hell? Evolution. <laughs> we're continuing the evolution of Xbox Game Bar. So if you guys don't know what Xbox Game Bar is, right? You're on your PC. You're playing a game and you hit. I don't remember what button it is anymore. The home, the you just hit the button, Windows button. And W? And G. And G. Yeah. Okay, so when you're playing a game, it pops up and it has like. Everything pops up, man. Like it's, it's, it's actually yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, you, can, yeah, you see your friends list. Oh, you really? Can see yeah. how much computer usage you have right now going for the game. Oh, like, wow. It's, yeah, dude, it's pretty deep. You got your frames per second on there. Um, but now we're getting oh, some yeah, new yeah, stuff. Yeah, right? Windows. G. Yeah. Okay. So now they're making some new stuff. So it says the customizable gaming gaming overlay built in Windows 10 for PC. Uh, starting today, insiders will have access to apps from partners like Razer, XSplit, and Intel directly from Xbox Game Bar through oh, new widgets. Baby. It says Chat. no more having to. Dean Master just said my Razer does that. Yeah. So we just well, said now Razer. it's going to do that. Go. Now it's going to do it through your Windows thing, and you won't have to alt tab to separate apps while gaming. Nice. Look, I can just continue reading. It was like perfect flow. Well, Kimbo, I think we're out of luck. He's, 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 Kimbo <laughs> asked what happens if it's a Mac. Well, I'm probably out of luck, but that's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Mac there is some good news to... about Mac, though, that came out this week, and I'll only finish this one sentence, and okay. I'll bring it back up. Right. It says, we've seen incredible inter- interest from PC gaming partners in the fan requested feature, and we look forward to growing the number of available widgets. So, Streamlabs announced that they're doing their beta stuff for Mac. I know. Did you see that? I, they have, they're going to come out with the slobs and everything. I'm like, all right. See? Okay. See? They heard you. You're gone. It's because you said it on the podcast, bro. They were listening. Yeah, all right. We'll see. They were listening. We'll see. we'll see how good I'm, it is, right? I want to see how good it is because I, you know, I, you know, the trouble that I had with this really expensive software that I use, um, yep. and uh, I'm growing increasingly, increasingly frustrated with it to where I'm just about to dump it completely, and uh, just and then, yes, and it's free. Sorry. OBS is free, you know, and it has things in OBS that this ridiculously expensive program that I use, I've used for years, ha- doesn't have. No. And, uh, uh, and then OBS have- is open source, correct? Yes. So it's, it's open people source. work on it for free, and, uh, but everybody works on it together. There's a storm rolling in back here. Uh, yeah, oh, it's, it's all open source. So OBS is open source. As a matter of fact, um, when I used to, before I came to uh, Mixer, uh, when I first started doing the live DJ streams, I started on Ustream, which was yeah. using uh, the basically using the uh, the Telestream application that I'm talking about. But when I went to Chew.TV, they were actually, they said download like the Chew application, right, to stream. It turns yeah. out it's just OBS. All it was was OBS. They just retooled it to just work specifically with their site. Yeah. yeah, but it was just OBS all along. So it's, it's an open source. Uh, but uh, I think Slobs is going to, it seems to me that Slobs would be better, right? Because yeah. it it's it's proprietary right it would like all this stuff is going to work specifically with all these features that we have like your overlays and your notifications and all that stuff so i'm looking forward to seeing it i'm going to try it out i'm definitely yeah. going to try it out so yeah, and I, I that's use, what we're talking I'm using, about actually using the OBS, obs mac beta yeah i'm using obs right now i'm using obs studio right now to stream yeah. but uh today like during the drum session last night during ym feed tv i was using uh i was using wirecast um, and that's that's the one that I'm just like I'm about to just dump it and never uh, never look back. But we'll see. Even though you, even though you paid like out the butt for it, uh, it was so ridiculously expensive. And at the time <laughs> that it came out, I didn't really have any other options. Yeah. Plus, I was trying to I was trying to get what I felt. You know how I am with with I want to try and put out the best quality possible that oh, I yeah. can do with my streams, right? So I'm like, well, I should get this application because it's probably you know. It's probably going to be really powerful if it costs this much. But we should all know, we all know, we've learned just on any platform that numbers do not equate to quality. Qu- quantity is not quality. Sometimes it is. Yeah. But 
it's a lot of times it's not. So you money can uh, only get you so far. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that OBS <laughs> is absolutely free and open source and has all these features now, and then Streamlabs comes along and makes it for Mac, which I've been waiting for them to do this. My notifications will probably finally work uh, the way they're supposed to work, and yeah. other things like that. So I'm actually really looking forward to it. it looks yeah. Cool. Thank you, by um, the way, Kimbo. Appreciate that. Pull some stuff out of the chat real quick. He says, uh, hope Microsoft can make it so you can stream Spotify through the Xbox while streaming games. Mm. You can right now, correct? Um, I think people do it. I don't know how they do it, though. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. people do it, and then they also stream while doing that. Oh, Chicago Peeps. Uh, everybody, first of all, shout out to Chicago Peeps came in, and he just came in and gave What's me up, a congratulations. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I hit 7,000 <laughs> today high. on my channel. Uh, and Chicago Peeps came in and congratulated me on that. So thank you very much, Chicago Peeps. Another uh, another streamer on the platform at seven of seven. Hello, is here. Okay, I'm gonna bring out. I'm gonna bring out Raptures too. What he said. He still he says Xbox Series X could sell for four hundred dollars to get gamers back. Microsoft takes a hit on hardware, makes it up with Game Pass. That's not the first time That's, that they've done that though. I that, think four hundred though is way too big of a hit yeah. though. It wouldn't be the first I, time that they've done that. My guess is it it cost them probably four eighty to make it. Yeah. But you know, he, he did hit. say, remember Phil Spencer did say that price pricing was key. Remember, he did say that a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. But I also think, too, that you remember though what he said, though, where you listened to what he said about with uh, the Ryan McCaffrey interview when he was talking about mm -hmm. the optical audio. True. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so he was like, we took it out. It's like, yeah, maybe it was $2, whatever. But he's like, say we end up selling 100 million consoles. He's like, that's a lot of money. That is a lot. <laughs> but does that up? And he's, and that I think he was saying up. too. It's, it. I don't know what the actual percentage is. Maybe I mean, even if it was like a five percent, or maybe it was a fifteen percent, right? Fifteen percent of people are using, uh, are using it, the optical audio cord, right? Like, is that worth that money? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's worth it, but I mean, I don't know. It's one of those. It's one of those questions, right? It could be. A lot of things. I don't know why my mixture just went weird for me on my <laughs> like on the website. That was weird. Wow. Well, I just got some. Uh, They've been dumping. Interesting. You've got news. some weird news in the text message. It's, no, it's it's actually very interesting. I don't want. I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, it's <laughs> it's, yeah. it's for Talk offline. You, it's good. It's good. Um, it's it's, I, it's good. So with what I'm going to read what five said again. I keep reading everybody's stuff in the chat. I'm actually enjoying this. So yeah. he says they've been dumping Game Pass lately. I guess not making. Game Pass. I think what's actually happening right now is Game Pass is focusing on bringing in these JRPGs. I mm -hmm. think they're trying to bring over the other side of stuff. So we've missed all of that J JRPG stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like that's we talked. Phil Spencer was talking about. He's like, we want to make a difference over there. We lost the fight over there because right. we released our console nine months later over mm -hmm. there. And so I think a large part of it is that they're trying to they're trying to spread out before they attack. Yeah. Jumbo Go Boom just joined the chat. What's up, man? Good to see you. Boom. Another streamer on the platform. I got to meet him at Pack Sal. Super cool guy. Always has like fresh hats on too, man. What's going on, Jumbo? Good to see you. Um, so yeah, let's think about the next thing. So he says uh, we've added even more title Project X Cloud preview. Beginning today, participants can play three more games from EA. I'm just trying to figure out how EA is getting on board with this stuff. EA is very. Um, this is ours. Yeah, <laughs> go away. <laughs> but That's true. so so it says on their Android phones and tablets, including The Sims 4, Unravel 2, and Dragon Age Inquisition. Bro, I did okay. So I'm gonna shout out to that book that I'm reading again. Mm -hmm. It's called that uh, Blood, Sweat, and Pixels. Right. So they talk about Dragon Age Inquisition. If you guys never heard the story of that game, goodness, <laughs> dude, that game. <laughs> had some like they basically were trying to force them to put that game out like a year and a half early right a year and a half early on development is a lot a of lot. freaking time dude a <laughs> like, lot and so I, they to to like put in what they did like oh man it blows my mind and so the book's written by Jason Schreier and so Jason Schreier's like we I think we talked about that he's like a really good mm -hmm. uh my goodness I just forgot the word researcher not the word out reporter there we go yeah, okay yeah and so he does, he's really good at breaking things. Like lately, he's been the one that's been breaking all of like the the crunch uh, articles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so like the, the crunch that was on uh, Dragon Egg Inquisition was wild. Mm. 
so Rapture says Microsoft <laughs> may have more developers um, they have bought but not revealed yet. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They could be. Uh, they could be keeping it. Uh, hey, Pirates is here. Wow. Hey, Pirates. Pirates is in chat. <laughs> but yeah, that is true. It could be. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, dude, I really we, we like, still have so many games to get announced. Yeah. Dude. I feel like it's, Xbox is. I don't know. I really feel like Xbox is like. <laughs> I feel like that's why they've released so much about the console too right now. Like they're yeah. they're like we're gonna get this yeah, all out of the way. Like, yeah. Let's let's Holy we're gonna Holy. we're gonna create what I want to call it. We're gonna fill up the water behind the dam before we break the dam. Yeah. Yeah. Kill yeah. <laughs> all your games. Dude, it's gonna. Oh man. Ooh, sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> getting chills. Um. So another thing. So they're talking about gears tack. Watched a lot mm -hmm. on gears tactics. So one thing, it did go gold. If you guys don't know what gold means, that means that it means it ended out to production. Um. I don't know why, but I didn't put the date, but I'm pretty sure it comes out at the end of this month on the 29th. I want to see it. I want to play it. So it's a PC only right now, and I think the reason why they're doing that is because they're going to use it as a launch title for yeah. Series X. Oh, yeah. That's my guess. That's yeah. kind of what they make it sound like, too. Um, so it plays like XCOM, but it's way faster. Let so if you watch go. the gameplay on it, yeah, it is cooking. Go. Yeah. Like, the whole enemy team fires at once. Yep. Rather than the little like, take it one, 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 right, one, like, one, watching like uh, eight freaking enemies yeah. shoot at the same time. You're like, you got to be kidding me, <laughs> dude. Uh, it looks sick. I'm really excited for it. It looks good, and that I mean, I get that like saying that it looks good on PC is different. I hope you like, what is it gonna on. look like on Series X though, yeah. dude? Like, yeah, yeah, because I got a bomb PC. But the bomb PC does a lot of things like watching streams and different things like that, or true, like in streaming true, and stuff. True. That Xbox is just gonna be bombing on those games. And look, here's the thing, too, guys. I know we talked about like getting a PC and all that stuff last week. But if the Xbox, I, I'm gonna first let me get the Series X, right? Let me get that first, <laughs> and then I'll think about because I have not dismissed the idea. Of I, like it, hold, I, like I like treat whole, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Treat Yo, yourself. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. So uh, I want to get the Series X first because when I do get the Series X, I am gonna I am gonna finally convert all my TVs to 4K because then I have a reason to do it. Um, yeah. Also, we're still talking about what's the what's Lock, Lockhart? Is that the other Series yeah, X? Yeah, the whatever, right? other Series so S. Probably. I don't know what's going on with that either. So I want to get both of them. I want. I don't uh -huh. know when which one are coming out, but I want to have both of them. I want to have multiple consoles so I can have one in one area and one in the other. But I want to have the different ones so I can compare them. So hopefully, I'm assuming they're both going to be 4K. I'm assuming. Yeah. I'm gonna assume. Why would they not be? So I think he is waiting, Kimbo. He's he's saying for the Series X, not for the One X. Hey, well, shout out to my ex is my buddy who's just joined the chat. Yeah, so yeah, we do, uh, we do, we actually, uh, we do this podcast every week, but we're now starting to do them live, Ax. So uh, yeah, so you guys could join in. In uh, what about <laughs> well, the NK? Not <laughs> talking know. about that, but it's like like 8K and 30 frames per second. I would rather be 4K 60 exactly. than 8K 30. Exactly. I would rather rather be 4K at 60 because that's that. I mean, I don't know, guys. How 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 high resolution does this need to be, people? 8K you know. is the price of the TV. You know. yeah. See, I like what Cooper said. He said, I think the, the lock card might be the digital only next gen console. And that's and what I'm I, hoping it is, Cooper. That's what I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it's the digital only that's with just velocity like, architecture in it as well. Yeah. So all of those good things that are going to be on the Series X are going to be on the Series S just at 1080p, 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, like, I'm, I would like just an all digital box, though. That, I think that's a great idea. And let's put that one in the bedroom and then have the regular one in the studio. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I, I really hope it's 4K, though. But we'll see. We'll see. Man, dude, what a world we live in. I know. I know. Just, and I, it's so funny. I've seen all these people and they're like, Oh, all these people saying that the Series X is going to be more powerful than a PC. They're like, obviously, I haven't played on a PC. I'm like, I'm like how much are no. you paying for that PC, exactly, bro? Exactly, exactly. I'm like, because that hey, PC is going to cost you an arm and a freaking leg. <laughs> like, <What's, laughs> Shout out to Hell Media, fellow I'm, DJ. What's going yes. on, man? My DJ crew, TTT Radio in the house. 
Yeah. So I don't know, man. I mean, how much, I mean, how much would it cost? Like, I don't know. I haven't never built a PC. The max that I buy are ridiculously expensive as it is. And you can't even really, well, you can build them, but you can't build them. You know what I mean? Like when you buy, when I buy a Mac, I go on to Apple and I customize and build what I actually want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like, it's just like, Oh, this is what we're going to give you. But if you were to compare the price of a PC, because again, I've never built a PC. So I'm, 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 this is something I don't know. If you were to compare yeah. the price of a PC built to what that's going to do what the Series X is is going to do, what would it cost? A lot more. A lot. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> well, that's because, I mean, people, they, they don't, they, I get the argument, like, mm-hmm. at the same time, but at the same time, you got to think, like, these things for the Series X are made just to play games. Right. Like, they don't have to worry about watching, I mean, you can, right. I mean, they're watching videos, right? And it's like yeah. streaming and stuff like that. But like, that's not their main focus. They're, like their focus is like, games. kill right. it on Xbox games. Right. Graphics, uh, frames, all that stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Audio. And I get all these, we get all these people hating on us, dude. And they're like, hey, all these, my PC is better than your Xbox. You're like, that's cool, bro. But you yeah. paid a lot. A lot of money. <laughs> right. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> A spec build would be a thousand fifteen hundred US, I reckon. Okay, that's fair. That's still cheaper. That's still cheaper than a Mac. <laughs> that's twenty five hundred dollar PC. Yeah, I don't so know. They talk I, about it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, well, I just think just having everything in just a simple box with a controller. I I, I like that. I just like it. It's, it's yeah, we talked about that last week. It's, yeah. it's yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, right, it's right, yeah, right there. Yeah. I don't have to worry about it. If there's an update, it updates itself. Oh like, yeah, and Kimbo <laughs> also brings up a very uh, hackers on PC. It's Lots true. I, every, all you hear is people. Did you see that one today? They uh, they took like all of the Destiny two streamers and they put their faces on all of the the troopers from Star Wars, not the stormtroopers, like the the rebellion. Oh, the uh, whatever clone troopers. Yeah, and then Darth Vader comes out and he turns it on and he's a hacker on Destiny two and he's just like oh. Oh, just killing everybody <laughs> like <laughs> just wrecking. Dude, I was like, it is rampant. I've seen some. In, well, I posted uh, like uh, as I mentioned, uh, it was a couple of weeks the ago M-tash. that uh, Mtash allowed us to put his uh, video. Uh, he gave us permission actually to put it. Yeah. Uh, He's uh, just in there punching the dude. Yeah, the you gotta the watch guy it. Sucks, it's, uh, dude, that's it's the episode thing. eight. I think it might it be episode be eight. eight. Yeah, where, it is eight, I just um, checked that a second ago. Sure. Yeah, Mtash allowed us to put, and I asked him, and he was really cool. It's crazy. You have to watch it. This guy is straight up cheating. They're punching in like, and he keeps dying and then coming back with an overshoot. <laughs> <laughs> right there on. It's like crazy. So yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, um, wow. So delayed delivery. So uh, Helmina said he just ordered the new MacBook Pro, 64 gigabytes, 2 terabyte, 8 gigabyte graphics card. And the uh, this whole COVID thing is delaying the delivery. So, yeah, it's another thing we yeah. got to yeah. through. Another thing we got to <laughs> get through. Yeah. Well, let's All go right. to the next thing. Yeah. Uh, so it said... Uh, in today's show, we took a look at a brand new game called The Last Campfire. Dark mm-hmm. fantasy from developer Hello Games that combined the beautiful art style with a wide variety of puzzles to create a wholly unique experience. So the reason why I wanted to say that game was because we were actually talking, I don't remember who, it was one of you guys I was talking about, Hello Games. So Hello Games made, oh my gosh. The the, game why does that, that sound like the, familiar? The people that have the mask on, the white mask looks all scary. Everybody's like smiling the whole game. Oh, uh, we, uh, we... Something uh, happy, we happy few or something like that, or yeah, I, think so. yeah, yeah, I think happy that's few. what it was. Yeah. We happy people, is that what it is? We do happy they do? People? It's we happy few. I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then did they do Secret Neighbor too? Uh because I thought no. Secret Neighbor. Tiny, tiny I think, build. Tiny yeah, that's build. tiny build. Tiny build. That's tiny build. Yeah, that's tiny build. Yeah, it's we happy few. Still, yeah, though, they're very is, similar uh, games, and they're, I'm pretty sure that We Happy Few was, um, oh well, my gosh, produced says, by, or whatever. It says called. developers, Compulsion Games, but that is, I don't know. It says the developer is Compulsion Games, but. Wait, then uh, who's, what did Hello Games do then? I uh, thought it was that game. Out. I thought, so, hold on. I know we talked about it because we talked about them recently. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see what Hello, Hello Games. Um, uh, let's see. Joe Dan- oh, No Man's website. Sky. That's, what, That's what it is. Yes. Oh. That was there. Remember the debacle My that bad. that was. I was close. And but they 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 uh they basically they redeemed themselves. So that game has grown to be from a total disappointment and kind of a lie to like, whoa, look at all this stuff in this game now. So they should have done that from the beginning, but whatever. Uh but yeah, No Man's Sky. 
Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we Happy Few is a good game. Sorry, shout out to yeah. that game, but not what I meant. My bad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it is what I meant, but for some reason I was not thinking that through. But yes, No Man's Sky is a is a very good comeback story. Yeah, very good <laughs> comeback story. They put because work into uh, it, so they better have that so. game. That game came out with so much hype, dude, and everybody was like, "It doesn't have anything." They said was coming. Nope, in. nope. And it was supposed to be like they gave the idea it was going to be this like this whole multiplayer thing, and it was like by chance, possible chance, you might run into somebody, <laughs> and it was like this whole like algorithm of how you could possibly maybe run into somebody that was in the same like location universe. That never happened, but uh, yep. but yeah, that was when it first launched. But they redeemed themselves, uh, their cells, themselves, their cells. Yeah. And uh, right, so then it says, "Oh, go ahead, go ahead." No, I'm done. You still go. Oh, I was just gonna go to the next thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so there was also a new trailer for Atomocrops, an aspect farming simulator where you must cultivate and defend the last farm in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Um, it's it's cartoony, like a lot. Yeah. So, uh, just so you guys know, <laughs> it says finally it was announced. Uh, that the action-packed top-down shooter Hotline Miami collection is not only coming to Xbox One, but it's actually available right now. Yeah. Um, that Ooh. game, not uh, my game either. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, like I looked you're, at the you're bored. and I was like, mm, no. Yeah, it's kind of one of those, like, you look bo- you're, you're kind of bored and you look on Game Pass, you're like, well, Let's that try looks this like out. fun. Yeah. yeah. But I know so many people that play games like this, though. <laughs> like, yeah. Big streamers That's that true. I know that play games, they're like, play it like this games like this, like, crazy. they'll probably eat this up. What was that one that I played that one time? Remember, we were playing that one night, and I was just like going, it was like neon lights or something like that. Oh, what was it? <laughs> Do you remember that? It was like a top-down uh, shooter game. I think it was called Neon Lights. It was something like I don't know. I downloaded it. It was on Game Pass. It was super fun. Though. Oh, you were playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that called? Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot. think it's neon. Is it? It's not neon. Is it neon lights? I don't, know, dude. It was. It has like this. The the cover like this Chrome chick. Neon Five. Look, like, like, neon yes. chrome. Yes. Yes. Thank you, five. five that game was dope. On the, on the podcast. He gets a five. Every time he says something good, he gets a high five. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all that happened in uh, the Inside Xbox. I'm saying I'm saying that like it's not that much. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, a lot. Right. A lot I have happened. Neon Chrome on my Switch. I was like, I know this game, but, yeah, I have that on my Switch. Yes. Um, so there was also a really big uh, update this week for Warzone. Mm-hmm. Did you guys check that out? Yes. Yeah, 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 right yeah boy. And I, I jumped did. in. I got to play with you guys this weekend. For the first, you guys, you were like, I was sitting in the chat. I was, of course, I was playing Destiny, and you yeah. guys were like, "Hey, I'm gonna jump in some Warzone." And there was somebody else who was who else was with us. Um, there was Josh. He yeah. didn't have it downloaded. Oh, uh, but no, no, no. But who jumped in? It was uh, oh, Lewis. Lewis, yeah. Lewis. And so you were like, we need a fourth. I was like, a fourth? What are you talking about? It's like, oh, yeah, there's there's quads now. I'm like, what? So I jumped yeah, in. Dude. I did awful. Bro, I think I got that game, though, one now, kill? dude. That game, they're so, it's it's such a different game. Yeah. Like, they change, like, oh. Now with the quads, so the quads gives you a different dynamic, right? Like, everything is, like, it, it's just mayhem all the time, dude. Like, there's people flying everywhere. Yeah. And it's a three-player a three player team is pretty hard to take down by yourself. A four-player team, dude, now you're starting to get crazy. Yeah. So that that's crazy. The weapon, ba- not, I don't want to say balancing, but, like, the weapon drops across the map now. Like, they're dropping, like, yellow weapons yeah. all over the place. Yeah. And see, So, that's like, the, the balance too, for the weapons. Learn the weapons, man. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I just grab, I see a gun. I'm like, yeah, I'll use it. Yeah, sure, let's use go. It, see, Dude, it works. Yeah. <laughs> see what happens with this gun. <laughs> like, oh, as you shoot it once, you're like, oh, it's semi-automatic. You're like, oh, didn't see that coming. Yeah. But um, there's a new season pass with some cool things in there. A couple of different guns that come out with some skins. Um, price changes. Uh, I said there's price changes, but it's talking about like uh, when you go to the box to buy like uh, your loadouts. Right. It costs a lot more now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I bought a, I bought a deal like a DLC pack, right? Because of how I, I did it. I, I wanted to look cool. Uh, this guy's got a cowboy hat on and yeah. flip flops. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah, yeah boy. What did I say about you? I said, hey, who's the guy from Jurassic Park? Yeah, yeah. that's true. Good day, <laughs> it mate. looked cool though. It did. It looked cool. It did look. Cool. I got that skin's dope, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Call of Duty's dope. It's it's just, it was fun. I, I actually had fun playing it. I did. I actually have fun. I I just need to play it more. It's a, that's a game that I've played a total of probably maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours total. Jeez, bro, that's it. it up. I just you know I just I don't know. 
you guys got to you guys are going to have to say hey get in here and play with us and I'll I'll get better at it. There was some sad news for Xbox users though. Did you hear about yeah. it? Yeah. What's that? So we don't Modern Warfare 2 campaign got released. On exclusive for the first month to PlayStation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a people, month. Are, people are like be I can't eventually. I can't believe that. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Activision right. would do that. You're like, dude, you're like, oh, what right. do you mean, bro? Like, it's all money is money, bro. Like, if and somebody's it, gonna pay you money to do something, like, like to not let somebody else use something for a month, like, you're gonna do it. And it's yeah. and it's Activision. Oh, yeah. doing? Well, and they haven't like, they, like getting. We can yeah. be like Activision's like money hungry, but like I mean, they have investors. I mean, that's yeah, just how it works. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it's, it's, and only, it's only one, one month. month. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's we could be like month. Final Fantasy VII remake yeah. where we don't get it for. Uh, uh, a year? <laughs> right. Yeah, it's fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's just a month. It's true. It's not like you're not going to get it, so who cares? I, uh, we, I don't, we don't know when the I new coffee box stands uh, yet. Uh, all right. All right. You bought it already? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. I mean, if you buy it, buy it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, the last thing in news we want to talk about. Oh, this one's a doozy because <laughs> <laughs> some people see this one way and some people see it the other way yeah. and it's, it's kind of cool like to watch like the fights and stuff so the new <laughs> ps5 controller got revealed guess when it got revealed right before inside xbox right yeah so it's called the ds5 um some of this like there's there's some cool things with it um you got haptic triggers so they're saying the haptic triggers count as like you're pulling the trigger and it's vibe it's like you're vibrating i don't yeah. know it's weird well, like, well yeah we'll i see. guess they're trying to do whatever they can to make themselves. Did I say dual shock? I thought I said dual sense. No, it's dual. S- no, you said sense. I did, yeah, I I did you said sense. You said dual. You said yes. But yeah. 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 Oh, my bad. <laughs> um, and then they redid the light bar. They made it so it's not like this massive um, yeah. bar. Mm-hmm. Um, they put a mic into it. Yeah. So, so now you don't have to plug in a mic. Uh, no. I don't understand how that's going to work, though, because. Uh, does that mean like you, but then you still got to hear, right? Yeah. So this is what I have with the problem, right? So I, man, I could go all day on these, on these Sony haters, dude, all the time. So like Xbox already did this. You guys don't remember. You could literally tell your Xbox to turn on without having your connect on. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Then I would walk you have into your the connect room on and, say, and you could tell it yeah. to do all kinds of things. Yeah. I would walk into my living room and say, Xbox, turn on. And it, or yep. power or something. They would turn on and off. You could do both of those. Yeah. So how many how many of you guys have been in an Xbox party with somebody that is using their Connect mic? I <laughs> get <laughs> it is I terrible. It's mic. awful. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. but here's the thing, right? So here's what I'm trying to figure. Here's what here's what I'm seeing. So the microphone is built in, which means they're not going to use a headset. They're going to have the yep. audio coming through, I guess, their system, right? Their surround or whatever. Yeah. So that means if you're in a party <laughs> chat, the talking and the game and all that stuff is going to be in the the ambi- you know, the ambient yeah. sound <laughs> of your room, right? And so is the microphone like so directional that it's only going to pick up your yeah, phone? Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 you, still, you can still plug your headset in. That is, that is, we got to point that out too. There is an right, option. Right, right, right. They I made sure that. they brought that back up. I just but like, don't know why this is an option. <laughs> and I also, I mean, we got to point too that the like, mics have gotten a lot better. True, yeah. than true. Yeah. They have, they have, they have. True. But also, let's let's point out um, that this controller has body armor on. I noticed that too. It's like <laughs> um, it was like a stormtrooper or something. It's like, hey, all right, cool. Then, like I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I think it looks kind of cool. I no, do. No, no. It, it looks I, cool. Too, but you yeah. want to know what the shape looks like? If you took a silhouette of that thing and you compared it to an Xbox Series X controller, yeah, uh, <laughs> the same. It's the same. 
Yeah. Oh, they, they, <laughs> and so that's what I was watching. Uh, I was watching a video. Uh, Game yeah, Ranks. You know, Game Ranks is one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. um, and he was saying the same thing. He's saying that he thinks eventually like uh, Nintendo took cues with the with the pro controller for the switch. Uh, yep. He thinks that he thinks that uh, Jake is on Baldino. Uh, he thinks that they took cues from the Xbox controller. And now he thinks yeah. that PlayStation is taking cues from the Xbox controller. I, think I, like, I kind of agree. I think yeah. Xbox knows what's up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Xbox controllers are great controllers. It's a really good controller. I like it better than the PlayStation controller. And I yep. have, yep. and this is coming from someone who has a, play, a PS4. So um, okay. hear I me mean, here, though. Hear me with but this. But I do okay. like the Nintendo so, Pro controller. So let's put it out. Xbox put a ton of money into their console. Yeah. According to everybody else, they're saying Sony's going to be cheaper. Yep. This controller is not going to be the same price as a Series X controller. No. No, no freaking way. way. That gonna controller is going to be 120 out the door probably. Yeah. Um, it has the built-in battery, which I, that's a whole other argument. So I really think that this is a really good point to look at it and saying that these consoles are going to be the same price at launch. I think these prices are going to balance out because of this. This controller, I feel like, puts a really good uh, perspective to saying they're going to balance out. Do oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. when you, I, that's what I'm thinking. It's like this plus this equals this, but this plus this more expensive thing equals this. Right. You know what I mean? I'm this battery. The reason why the Series X controller costs so much, or not Series X, the Elite 2.0 controller is costing so much is this this battery. Right. Have you seen the size of the battery that's actually in this thing? No. It is almost double PlayStation 4s right now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's why that thing is like a monster. So it's not gonna die on you anytime soon. And I feel like that's one thing too. Like people, a lot of people. Dang, I didn't want to bring up this, but I'm gonna get in. <laughs> a lot of people are like mad. They're like Xbox using these AA batteries, freaking cheapos, and like, like, dude, you just go buy like a twenty dollar rechargeable battery kit. Yeah. And it's like you're good. And so here's another thing too. I uh, I uh, heard this a couple of weeks ago that there was actually uh, kind of like a um, a survey put out on that, and. Yeah the response back was actually 50 50 people that wanted either a rechargeable battery or wanted to be able to replace the batteries it was a yeah. 50 50 thing which i thought i found that quite interesting yeah well you can't what are you going to do with your your playstation controller when the batteries get to the point where it stays charged for five minutes yeah exactly exactly <laughs> now the new the new xbox elite controller is built in you know so yeah. i guess eventually that's going to be a problem yeah, yeah. um but, you know, I, I thought it was interesting that it was a sort of a 50-50 split on the response to that. So That's what we think, shit. We think it's going to be 500. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. So, yes, I like to be able to replace the batteries. I like to be able to slam I in. the controller before the battery goes bad. Hammer shot. I usually I mean, wear out yeah, the battery. You ain't wrong it. there, dude. <laughs> right bumper on every one of my controllers for some reason yeah. goes bad. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, good, and you're good. right. That's all we have uh, for news. Yeah, you're right. right. By the way, Matt, uh, Axe, you're right. We were talking about that earlier that they do lose money on consoles. They have lost money on consoles, but they do make it up in games. So, yeah. Yeah. So, cool. Yeah, that's, I think that's all we got for news today. You guys cool? Anything else you guys want to talk about when we're here? Anybody in the chat? Anybody I don't know if I've talk talked enough them? about uh, Destiny 2, but I could go on another 30 all minutes. Right. Now I'm just going to be like. <laughs> But we all made it out. Yeah, bro. I gotta remember. I gotta edit this, so I guess I should yeah. reel it in. It's true. Okay, it's true. All right, guys. Well, let's talk about the game that we played this week for yes. our Game Pass game of the week. Yes. We played near Automata. Matata or Akuna Matata. <laughs> I say or, a, a wait. I say automata. Wait. Yeah, now I, I got you automata. confused, huh? Yeah, you did it. Yeah, I think it's I think it's automata. Oh, I wait. think it's automata, automata too, but I, I like automata. She says, I don't know, dude. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> it is what it is, right? Yeah. Uh, so it says near automata. <laughs> it's a 2017 action role-playing video game developed by Platinum Games and published by Square Enix. It's a sequel to the 2010 video game Near itself is a spin-off of the sequel of the Drakengard series. Yeah. Yeah. No key drops. Automata. Automata. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying it. 
and make myself feel good about that. But um, so yeah, the game originally released February twenty third, twenty seventeen. Just came to Xbox, went right to Game Pass, which is dope. Yeah, um, and I've always out, wanted um, to play this game too. Yeah, so it came out on PS four. Uh, it's on Windows, Steam, and now it's on Xbox. Obviously, um, I'm gonna read uh, Farrell Shaw's review. So he wrote us a review of what he thought of like how the game. I'm gonna actually gonna read what he said first, mm-hmm. and then we can kind of break down how we went with everything. Uh, okay. He says. This game features a wide open world full of things to do, such as side quests, laying out machines, and fishing. The game circles around two androids, 2B and 9S. The two aren't the best of friends in the beginning, but as the story goes on, their bond gets stronger. The game is all about reclaiming the earth from the machines and bringing back peace to mankind. From my personal experience, I find the game rather interesting when it comes to combat, seeing as you can change how your character fights and have different builds. The game also has multiple endings, so the replay value is there for sure. I highly recommend this game to anyone looking for a newer game to play. He said, that's my first one. He said, I didn't think I did very good. I thought that was that was awesome. Dope. That That's was awesome. really good. That hit everything. Yeah, it was really awesome. The game's a good game. He said, why yeah. the game's a good game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was dope. Feral Shah. Definitely, uh, I'm going to we'll put him in the notes because that was pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so tell me about your experience, Bobo the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to hear this. <laughs> so, I... Got uh, the two big hands. The two, yeah, the Goliath. Uh, yeah, oh, the Goliath? with okay. the saw blade hands. He's like, hey. I, uh, I got, <laughs> I died. got. He looks like he's gonna cry. I got. I got right. It's coming to the main menu. It took him to the main menu. So. I am. I can and I hey hey, and coming right to the beginning of the, the game. The very beginning of the game. I will not tell you that ever again. <laughs> so I hey hey. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's where you stop. That's where you stop. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, if you guys didn't know in this game, I can't I can't give you guys. He said, uh, <laughs> I don't know. He said, not my game. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what an experience. Uh, the same thing know. happened to Hammer Shot. Haven't so, picked it up since. Wow. Yeah, uh, so. so you got me. I know you got me play it too. So what? Yeah. Basically, what happened to Bobo to sum it all up? So the the game does not have an auto save feature. Oh, that's right. Mission. That's right. There is no saving. Uh, so you go through all this stuff, learning everything. You fight this boss, and this boss, like, if you don't know what you're doing, dude, this boss is yeah. he's, he's a big yeah. boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's cool, but like, yeah, he is. He's got a lot of mechanics going on at the same time, but like. Yeah, Bubble died, and if he, I mean, obviously he didn't have a save yet. So. I am him. Um, <laughs> but after that, Yogami, how did you enjoy the game after that point? <laughs> I didn't have those same issues. I So again, I was really hoping that this was going to be our game when I found out that it came on Game Pass. I was like, I've been yeah. wanting to play that game for a while. I've seen people play it. Um, it's, you know, I like... Um, you know, I like kind of, uh, I don't want to say, uh, sort of, it's sort of cyberpunk, I guess you could say, but I like uh, certain kind of anime, like mech anime, mecha yeah. anime, anything to do with like uh, robotics, androids, or cyborgs, or anything like that. I like that kind of thing anyway. This was a yeah. bit more fan, like fantasy, like fantastical, I guess you could say, from my taste. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a little, you know what I mean? It's like kind of a little out there, but it, there's some parts that brought it back very science fictiony um but it was also very anime very like you know japanese culture like very you know the story even though our our version was in english you could see that yeah. when their mouths are moving because like this is clearly was in japanese first yeah that is not syncing up but um uh i liked it so immediately when i first started playing it i was like okay so this is like a bullet storm game it's a lot of just spraying and all that stuff and then um uh like i 
I, I like the, I like the top down, but I also like, you think that it's going to be top down, but then it's asymmetrical. Then it's side. And then that it's like is third every person. angle. And yeah. it's, <laughs> in, in one, like it just in one like thing that you had, like one uh, task that you have to do, the camera changes like, I don't know, five or six times, but to a different view, not just like, oh, it's top and side. No, it's top side. A uh, third person, uh, asymmetrical, uh, you know, then like the, it was just crazy. So that's one of the things that really impressed me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I really, I'm, look, I really liked the game. I, and I didn't finish it, but I'm going to finish I'm going to play it some more because that was like. You got 20 hours to beat that game. Yeah. Well, uh, 20 hours is how long it takes to beat that. Mm-hmm. Be that and up, that's obviously. like a speed race. So. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude. Yeah. So. I really enjoyed how the camera actually yeah, moved around, <laughs> but part of the problem with the camera moving around is in some areas it does not help you out. Yeah, that, no. You know, so you did it, did it go it. like really low behind or something to where you were like couldn't see anything or some points? I, I noticed that for me, like the well, camera when I would went go really to, low or something. So the the like third area, you go over to the amusement park. Oh yeah. And you fight this boss, dude. And so like I'm gonna talk about that boss real quick. So that boss. <laughs> was the craziest boss fight I have ever been a part of. Like, there was mechan like, everything, dude, was happening, dude. They're spawning these things, dude. There's, like, it turned yeah, it turned into, like, a Dark Souls. Like, it got crazy. Yeah, the opera-looking lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, like, she has, like, seven different mechanics just on her own. And then these dudes Ew, drop in there, at you. ball rings at you. You can't do anything with rings, dude. Like, you just run. Like, I don't know where to go. Like, yeah. <laughs> running and shooting everything he's like non-stop shooting <laughs> yeah, like, yeah but totally but there was story. one spot where like i got to this thing and like all of a sudden i like i couldn't see what i was even shooting it because like the camera like was like yeah not above me but yeah. not third person it was like in a happy medium like really on the back spot. of my head yeah <laughs> i was like get out like, i can't help i'm gonna die <laughs> i'm freaking out and i think yeah. i actually did i believe i no i didn't die on that did i die on the spot i don't think i died in that spot but yeah, oh man, it was tripping me out. But dude, I'm telling you though, that like my heart was going, like the music, like everything, all at the same time. And that scene had me hooked, dude. I was, I was loving it. So yeah. that game actually, I was looking at too. Uh, game Awards 2017. And you were actually, actually won opposed to the game. For at the beginning, you were. You were like, eh, I'm like eh. I was. Grumble so that game. game actually had like best soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack was so good. Oh, yes. yeah, sorry, yeah, Man, yeah. the soundtrack was so... The music was so good. I'm telling you, the music in that reminded me of the music, reminded me a lot of the music from uh, Ghost in the Shell, the original, yeah. uh, the original oh, yeah. anime. It reminded me a lot of that music. The singing and, oh, man, the, the music was so good. I feel it mm-hmm. was. And it's definitely one you want to play with your earphones on, like headset for sure. Or unless you have a... So, I don't know. I should I should hook that up with my... I have 7.2 surround. I see what that sounds like on there. Oh, that was really cool. Yeah. You should give it a try, man. I yeah. mean, why not? I mean, you got it. It's on Game Pass, so it means you don't yeah, have to pay true. for it, really. That's I mean, true. you do and, and don't at the same time. Um, so uh, did you guys... Yogami obviously doesn't have a Series X, but... I tried the game on HDR and without HDR on at the same time to see if it looked good. And that game still slapped on graphics. Really? Dude, like both sides. I was like, I was like, I mean, it's it's a different kind of graphic, right? So it focuses, it's a, a current gen console, obviously. Right, game. right, right. So right, it's right, like, right. it focuses a lot on what's right by you. Everything in the distance is there. Yeah. But not the best. Right. But it looked really good, like the things that were needing to look good. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense what I'm saying. Yeah. It looked, I, I thought, it, I mean, I played it on the Xbox One S. And I, thought it looked, I thought it Sorry. actually looked really great just on the S. Even I was like, man, this is like, this looks really good. So it was actually, you know, it's, uh, I actually ended up uh, feeling a lot of nostalgia from the game just from the graphics uh the like the um like the 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 interface and the graphics yeah. and everything were sort of kind of like a throwback to something else i had seen um uh, but yeah i really liked it i thought it was a really great game it was dope so what you gotta get what are you guys gonna give it on graphics graphics uh amazing oh yeah 
Yeah, they got me on amazing on that one. Yeah, dude, that even the first boss fight, dude. Like, I yeah. get it, you died, Bubba, but like, you were probably in there. You were like, holy shiz, dude. Like, you were like, you were in it, man. It was there was so much happening. No, dude. Uh, it yeah. looked cool. I was like, oh man, uh, near automata, she said. Yeah, near automata, automata, automata. I say it. Um, so the story, there is a huge story in that game. Huge story. You want me to ruin the end for you guys? No. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, 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 no. oh, <laughs> I'm never going to play it again. Don't, don't ruin it for me because I haven't finished it yet. Yeah, you got to so, check it out. You got to check. There will be clips. Uh, Dishiest uh, now, there actually will be clips on the YouTube version. So once we finish yes. this podcast. You'll, it's this on Game Pass, up. guys. Yeah, it's on Game Pass. But uh, I will have clips uh, as we talk about it in on the YouTube version of this podcast when it goes live. So. It'll, and it's and you know it's gonna look good when you got me done because nah. he he didn't go for that low quality ish. Right? Nah. he'll stress out about it and like do it for <laughs> like Rick, like for three days and then and maybe he might get mad and not, I don't want to say give up but he'll just get mad and be like you know what we're just gonna put it out of this. Well, yeah, I had to do that one. <laughs> the audio only was, one. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so bad. Like everything was broken and again frustrated oh, with man. that ridiculously expensive software. But I try to I try to make them all good. I try. Yeah. All right, so what are you guys going to rate story? Story, I put story is amazing because I that's kind of my thing. All day, all day. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know but I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I'm going to say amazing because they put in a lot of work yeah. for that story. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. I actually, I'll say it for the next one. So now we're going to say a game, but this is the one I actually had a problem with. Yeah, the gameplay bothered the heck out of me sometimes. <laughs> so I mean, we could talk about. I had I had some bugs right at the beginning. They weren't that big a deal. Like when I got to the first, when you finally get to your first like uh, house or whatever you want to call it, like air, the first bunk. I don't want to say bunker. The first little town you meet, right, where there's like a little there's people at. And then it's like go get this key. So I went to these guys. I killed them all. Mm-hmm. Nobody dropped the thing that I needed. Oh, so I run around. I'm killing everything. Nobody drops it. I reload the game, they drop it. Lots of running back and forth, Dean Master says. Oh, okay. So yes, that's gonna be my uh, that's gonna be my uh, my gameplay. It's gonna <laughs> that's that's gonna hinder me on gameplay. It's because of that. Oh yeah. The game ah. is like, dude, it was go here, go there, yeah. go here, go. There. It was running the exact same path like six times. Yeah. It was, was like, definitely dude. not amazing for me, but I will yeah. give it a great. I think just because I enjoyed the games, I enjoyed playing the game so much. So. Yeah, and that's it's 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 hard for me to 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 choose on that one because it's like <laughs> that I hated, but dude, when you get in any fight, dude, it is it gets crazy. Yeah, like there's things just yeah. going. Wild. Have you gone to the desert yet and fought the desert I boss? Not yet, not yet. Oof, oof, <laughs> that one gets wild too. Oh yeah, just remember, just keep fighting yeah. even if you think you're gonna lose because it gets to a point where there is so many freaking enemies and yeah you're, you're like telling it's over. Me. yeah i'm dead <laughs> and then the, and then all of a sudden it's you're like oh and then it gets then it gets a little crazier yeah. but still also the person if you're doing it on stream they're not completely naked just remember that okay they, they don't have a uh, what's the word i want uh they don't have a PP. So. Well, they're they're androids. You'll so. <laughs> yeah, you'll see. But he yeah. is very close to completely naked. So he gets wild, man. Uh, so what'd you say for gameplay? Did we say what we're doing for gameplay? You said good, huh? Or you said great? I said great because I actually I'm gonna really s- liked it. I'm gonna say great as well. I was getting. I'm I'm fighting between good and great. Bobo, how did you enjoy your uh, 45 minutes of gameplay? <laughs> yeah, I enjoy. <laughs> it's fun because it, it makes it it makes it so many different games inside of itself. Yeah, because uh, of the way the camera moves. All of a sudden, you're playing Galaga at one point. You know what I mean? And then yeah, some points, yeah. See, all of a sudden, you're playing third person. I was and then all of a sudden, funny, you're anybody was going to get that. <laughs> or compare it to Galaga, or, or there was another part where it was asymmetrical, so it looked like Galaxia, but it, it did look like a lot of those older games, you know, it brought a lot of that yeah. into it, so, yeah. Dang, dude. Okay, what about replayability? So, no. Replayability? Uh, never! <laughs> never. <laughs> dude, there's a ton of replayability, though. Yeah, I, I'm going to give it a great, because... There's three different endings to yeah. this game. Yeah. So after you beat it the first time, then you can go back and you can play as, is it not 2B, what's his name? 
Uh, I forgot what the guy's name is. Nine. What was his name? Is his name Nine? Don't they call him Nine E or something? Nine S. There you go. Five knows. Okay. I'm like, oh, I don't remember what his name was. Um, it's there. It's big. Yeah, sixty hours plus, give or take. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Oh, great on that one. Because it gets very repetitive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about you, Gomi? How do you feel about that, Yogami? I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a great. Okay. Because I will go back and play it. But I don't know how... (laughs) I don't know how excited I am about going back and playing it. Yeah. Bubbo's going to (laughs) say, not my game. (laughs) What do you think, Bubba? Thank you for the host. LGF. <laughs> but not my game. That's fair. That's fair. So then overall, what are you guys gonna give it? I'm gonna I'm gonna give Overall, I'm actually gonna give it an amazing. I'm actually Same. gonna give it an amazing. No, Same. No. I love Bobo, I you're really, on your own. I got in there. <laughs> RPGs are not my thing. <laughs> But I was like, this is fun. Yeah, because you were very like, like you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. And, but yeah, yeah I, I remember you saying, I think you tweeted or something like that. You were like, you know what? This game's actually pretty good. And I was like, yeah, ah, all right. It's a good game, but no. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, I probably, I probably, mm, I don't know if I'll go back. It's. You don't, don't think know. you'll go back and do the other endings? I don't know if I'll finish the first ending. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It's, I don't know. It felt good. But. Yeah. So if there's anything you guys could fix in that game, what would it be? Bubble says, let me save. Yeah. <laughs> I got that one for him. I got, I saw, I like an auto save? Him, like auto save yeah, would have probably been good. Though. Let me save before every boss. Yeah. Let me change the game before the boss. Yes. Okay. That's that's fair. That's I was. Fair on that first I'm one. not gonna lie. I was surprised when it's when the game started up and it said it didn't have an autosave. I'm like, what game doesn't have autosave now? You know, I thought that was. Yeah. A, a I mean, it decision. kind of does later, right? Yeah. So you find these like vending machines. Right. Every time you find the vending machine, it's like, quick save. You're like, yeah. But you still have to. You still have to manually do it though. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, man. JRPGs, bro. <laughs> JRPGs, bro. They'll do whatever they want. Uh, I think if I could fix anything on it, I don't want to run back and forth a million times. That's like, fair. I'm, I'm playing a story mode. Fall in order only has checkpoints. That's true. I'm that playing a story true. mode. All right, all right, all right, all right. Although all right, all right, did be fall in order. Really? I that. Yeah. I was actually yeah. given a copy of it. Well, but the game shares with me, so. Well, Got it really quick. <laughs> So yeah, guys, that's our game. That was our game that we played last week. It was super fun. Um, I definitely recommend it to you guys if you want to play a game and you like RPGs, especially JRPGs, because that game is uh, very anime. It's all over the place. Yeah, very, very anime. It definitely has, like... I mean, it is. It's just like I. That's all I felt, and even the music and everything that when I, the whole time I played it. So yeah, yeah, I liked it though. I like anime. Well, certain kinds of anime, not all of it, but yeah, I liked it. Bobo, do you want to announce our game for next week? Uh, I can try. <laughs> um, for next week, we are playing Journey to the Planet. Journey to the Savage Planet. So five. Five, uh, it's a magic number. Who, who, uh, he's a uh, uh, supporter of the channels and in my Discord, he was like, You know, it'd be really good if you guys play this. And so, five, that's what we're playing next week. So, you know, what's really cool about that game, too? On Wednesday, their new DLC comes out and it's oh, included wow. in Game Pass. Nice, hey, baby, perfect. Oh, yeah, so what well, we're playing it this week. Hello, people watching this video on Wednesday <laughs> <laughs> or listening to this on Tuesday morning. Or... Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. So Journey to the Savage Planet looks fun. It's uh, a little more cartoony than uh, um, than Near Automata, but yeah. it, it looks really fun. It, it does has look four fun. player co-op and we'll probably be going crazy on this. Is it four so player or two fun. player co-op? Yeah, yeah. It looks very fun. Five. Yeah, Is I'm it excited. four player or two player co-op? Uh, I don't know. 
I tell you in two think... seconds. Four. Well, I'm high, oh, I'm four. high game. Yeah, it's a five five game. Two player, two Yo, player. Hey yo. Okay, it's two player call. Yo, hey, I never think... about that. Oh, that's why I bought a Space Engineers Two comes out this Not week. Not yet. Yeah, we yeah, yeah we get. I will here in a second. Yeah. Well, we kind of said some stuff in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, we will. I'm not sure. <sighs> Hammer shot. Hammer shot. Um, so let's talk about. Thanks for the sub, Hammer shot. Um, Game Pass games coming out this week. So on console, we have Journey, Alvestia Chronicles. On PC, Alvestia is coming out in there too. Football Manager Twenty. Missed over and Stranger Things three the, the game. game. The game really? it is eight bit. Oh, like, it, it is eight. Yeah, it is oh, hard. Wow. Yeah, you'd be like, <laughs> oh, I didn't even say that. Prime things, man. So, right, we'll just add it on this. Um, Xbox releases this week. Fallout seventy six Wastelander DLC comes out on Tuesday. GG uh, Prime. Yeah, Vampire. The Masquerade comes out on the 15th. Journey to the Savage Planet Hot Garbage comes out on the 15th. Uh, Save Your Nuts comes out on the 16th. <laughs> <laughs> Cryo Gear comes out on the 17th. And Sinker comes out on the 17th. Nice. Um, dude, oh, it looks sick. Some of those games, man. Yeah, they look good. It's a slow week, though, at the same time. it's like, But we have yeah. Space Engineers, oh, Journey to the right. Savage Planet. Like those are two huge things that we could get this week. Yeah. And then Fallout seventy six, obviously. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Hammer <laughs> Shot. <laughs> he whispered me and said that you're gonna say <laughs> Was it was it Mac anything like that? Is what he said? Wait. Hammer Shot said you were gonna say something. Uh about saying Mecca at what did you Wait, say? Wait, what was it? Mech what is it? What game Because my favorite remember. anime and and manga is Appleseed. Yes, that's what that's what it was. Landmate, yeah. He, did you know that? Did I say? Have I talked about this before? <laughs> <Hammer> <laughs> he whispered me and says like five bucks. He's like five bucks if he doesn't say it. If he says it, <laughs> I didn't. I was going to, but now, you, <laughs> now that doesn't count because you guys tempted me to say it. But apple seed is my favorite. Rapture, we will be playing. Actually, me, I bought it. Uh, you're got me. I'm going to challenge you to buy it, dude. Space okay. Engineers. So I bought it for Josh as well. It's a four-player okay. co-op game. It's going to be, you know, just figure muscle. Play a little bit of that yeah. this week, too. I'll give it a shot. Comes out I'll this give week. Give it a shot. Um, so, you guys, that's pretty much it in the show. Um, yeah. We have something new to announce, too, that yes. we just had launch yesterday. And we already have one. So we announced a Patreon this week. So we have our new Patreon um, it's just Zeba Games. So patreon.com slash Zeba Games. Um, what you can do on there is you can sub to us on there. And the reason why we are making this, I'm going to announce first. Right, we we always tell you guys we don't want your money for us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Bobo over there. I mean, I don't know. Bobo. No, 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 I'm just kidding. No, no. <laughs> but the reason why we're doing it is because we are trying to switch our podcast hosting platform. We're trying to switch over to... Lisbon and they're a little more expensive especially yeah. if you do a weekly podcast and long podcast it gets a little more expensive yeah um yeah and we have two now actually Look I was that. just gonna say who the first one awesome. I need to check the email to double hey, check it. Baby. I gotta go there so I can get it okay, I'll, be, I'll, be there. I'll be there in a second <laughs> so we have a one dollar tier five dollar tier and a twenty dollar tier right um the one dollar tier it's just like you're it's just the basic like you're in there you uh you're supporting the channel. We'll announce your name the first time you're in there. The five dollar tier. Yeah. Um, same. We'll give you a shout out. I think we're gonna try to you set up. Uh, you put your meat and your hat on. Oh, there it is. Right there. And what I'll also um, do is I'll also put uh, their credits on the YouTube version. Too yeah. Well. So I was gonna say. So if you're if you're in the five dollar tier, your you, your credit you'll be on the credits every single time mm -hmm. as long as you're it. If you're on the one dollar tier, we can do. What do you think the first time? Mm-hmm. We well, put as them on the, new as new subscribers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the twenty dollar tier is a little bit different, right? So I was trying to think of different things we could do. So we're going to do a $20 tier Patreon uh, giveaway. Oh, so yes. it's gonna And it's going to be based on how many people we have in there, right? Because like, like I said, we're not trying to make money, but we need money for the for yeah. the Lisbon because yeah. it's not a friend. It's not your friend. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and it is a monthly sub. Yes, uh, not just a one-time yeah, kind it's of recurring thing. Charge, so. Yeah. so if you guys have never used Patreon, Patreon's really easy to use and they're super awesome and they don't have a very large cut that they take off of things, which is really surprising mm -hmm. for certain platforms. Yeah. Um, so if you guys want to support us there, that'd be dope. It'd be awesome. It's cool. Obviously, if you don't want to, 
we're still here. You're still going to be able to find us everywhere that you find us before. Exactly. Or, yeah. So, yeah. Um, once again, you guys can check us out. We'll be on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, those different things. The Patreon's going to have, we're going to do a weekly poll on there as well. Um, You're welcome, Rapture. On Make the Patreon. And the so line. we're going to kind of talk about like different games and like different ideas on you guys, things that we, you guys think we should do. Um, yeah. So let's, let's let everybody uh, give their shout outs. Yogami. Where can people uh, you find can, you? You can find me at, uh, you go to my website, yogomi.com, Y-O-G-O-M-I.com. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at yogomi, dot, uh, yogomi HQ, because somebody else had Yogomi. I'm on Instagram as Yogomi. <laughs> uh, you can, what else? What else am I? Oh, mixer.com slash Yogomi, which a lot of Hi, you mixer. guys already know. You're watching it right now if you're live. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, mixer.com oh, oh, oh. slash Yogomi. I'm partnered streamer on here, so along with... Uh, Along with DJ, so yeah, cool. Bobo should be partnered. Let's just be. No, I can't wait. Why? He should have been partnered. Like every time. He's partnered, but, you know, at least Bobo has a camera and production value, unlike some people that get partnered. But I'm not hey. saying any names. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about oh. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bobo actually puts a ton of work into his stream. If you guys have never checked out Bobo's stream, like he goes hard on his bot. He goes hard on his. Well, it's not mixed play anymore, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, mm-hmm. Hero 69 with the embers. Ooh, um, Bubba, where can the people find you? You can find me on Fire Bubba Game A L G U N. Bubba C L O C L W N. My bad. Yeah. Got you. You can find me on Fire Got King Bubba Hell, and then you can find me on Mayo. No, no. And then yeah. yeah, I'm pretty much just on mixer. I I'm like two weeks straight, guys. I took I took a day I break. Oh, I took a day break because I had a really bad day. But uh, yeah, I've been seeing like seeing it pop up on my phone. And I'm like, wow, you're actually you're actually I like it. I like it. Well, I'm trying to like work. <laughs> I'm actually been having a lot of fun, dude. Like just we've had a lot of cool people. I mean, if yeah, I, like and it's it's wild to me how many regulars still come back. Yeah. I'm like, I stabbed not, you guys no. in the back, okay? <laughs> not, <laughs> not literally, but like, I've, I've, I've literally pulled the plank from underneath your feet and let you get hang. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That was a joke. But um, yeah. Uh, you guys got anything else you think we can talk about? Yeah, I think we're good. No. You guys, we good. love your faces. We want you all to be safe. We hope you have a really good whatever you're celebrating right now today yes. on Sunday, Easter. Um, and the people that are listening to this on Wednesday or on Tuesday, we love your faces there too, or your ears, or whichever one you're you're seeing right now. I see. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with us. <laughs> and we'll see you all soon. Right. That's it. Bye, Bye-bye. guys. Bye.